So this F1 driver crashed on the first lap of the race, and I think this thermal camera has some clues as to why. So you'll notice at the start of the formation lap, the tires are already scorching hot from the tire warmers. But as soon as the air starts to flow, we can see how quickly the heat starts to dissipate. And I think this is pretty cool. Look how quickly the temperature spikes when he locks the brakes. We can see by the time he gets to turn six and seven, the tires are basically cold, but he starts overslipping the tires by the apexes in relatively high speed corners, and the temperature comes right back. So this overscrubbing of the fronts technique and the burnouts, at least this many burnouts before the start of the Grand Prix is something you really wouldn't see that often today, just because the compounds are so much more sensitive these days. While he's actually waiting to start the race, the tires are actually heating up because of the radiating temperature from the brakes, but notably he's lacking a lot of core temperature we saw before the formation lap that is going to be super important for peak braking performance. I think it's this combination of spending too much time weaving and slipping the tires instead of generating core temperature through the brakes that led to this incident. 